Is this good? Can everyone hear me? Yeah. All right, awesome. Okay. My name is Isabella Mitchell. I am a senior at Omaha Central High School. Awesome. And I just wanted to issue um, a quick trigger warning for this poem. It depicts mentions of um, school shootings and police brutality. So if anybody's not comfortable with that, feel free to leave. I don't mind. All right. This poem is titled Nashville. When I think of the world, I think of our youth. I see a group of children, pigtails swinging in pink bows at their mother's tide that morning. My sister in my shirt that she stole while I was asleep. During lunch, they sit and eat, absorb nourishment in thoughts and words as they laugh at fantastical fantasies and meager mathematics. But if they had known any better, they wouldn't have wasted their words on childhood. If they had seen the gunmen, they would have been praying to God for mercy. If they had noticed as the bullets launched into their neatly packed lunches and jelly-filled hands, they wouldn't have spent their last breath on screaming. But what can we expect? Barbies don't tell of the harrowing sights of hair drenched in blood. My little pony never sang of endless pink ribbons against a crimson battlefield, but that is what our youth has been forced to become. When I think of the world, I think of fear. I see fear in their eyes when they are too young to know what fear truly is. I see fear in their eyes when the people sworn to protect them stab their backs when they abide by the laws. And I see fear in their eyes when another news flash rings across their screens a normalized warning. Mothers, hold your children extra tight before they get on that yellow bus because the next color you may see them drenched in is red. Make sure little Timmy's shoes are double knotted and Sarah's backpack is bulletproof. Pack their little lunches into paper sacks and make sure they eat their fruits and veggies and slip a little note in to let them know where to hide as soon as they hear that first bang. And most importantly, remember that if you ever receive a random texted declaration of love, it may be your last, so keep your ringers on. If education is a right, why should we be afraid to learn? Our schools are being targeted by bullets and bannings, attacked by censorship. Our history is tagged unfair to critical indoctrination. They press for objectivity, filtered with subjectivity, yet we are made the bad guys. They wrap us up in black tape, eyes blind, while they smile with satisfaction. They restrain our voices while preaching their freedom of speech. They kill our birds, our forests, our trees, while judging our disconnection to the earth. Ashes of carbon flood the air because we never had enough to buy sustainable. They point fingers at us and blame us for their shortcomings. We are victims, blamed for corruption. But what choice did we have in watching this world fall? But then, when I think of the world, I think of perseverance. I think of those who are willing to speak, to fight, to rise up against censorship, to risk their lives, to learn, to read, to grow, to exist underneath pressures harsher than reality could ever be. Life is so much harder when you are in a constant fight for survival, when all you see are pink ribbons and blood, black tape over guns, plentiful pollution and open oppression. Pick your poison or just choke on the air instead. Now tell me this isn't poetry. Thank you.